Hello and welcome to Active Net Bytes. Active Net Bytes is all about showcasing our brilliant suppliers that support our event. And today we've got um, Jonathan from Inetivites. So Jonathan, talk to me about the business. What is it that you do and why do you do it? Hi, Dave. Um, so yeah, quick intro. So Anovatize um, is the developer of MyFit app. Mm -hmm. um, and we are the number one mobile marketing app for gyms and leisure centers. Okay. Um, and what we do is we offer a white label app that is completely customizable. So that allows customers to create their own gorgeous looking app mm -hmm. at a fraction of the cost of obviously what it would do to create their own. Okay. Um, and one of the key aspects is that we fully integrated all the major LMSs, so the leisure management system, mm -hmm. systems in the UK, which then unlocks super slick um booking so native booking experience are really really quick for the customers to go on and and uh, complete bookings make payments um and other benefits um include such as targeted messaging oh, okay i know obviously with leisure net you do lots of messaging nps and those kind of things so being able to do that in the app direct to the customers um, and then things like access control um so actually using the phone um as a scanner Okay. rather than actually having a scanner. So that, that protects revenue, which is fantastic. Mm -hmm. You know, if there's a way to get in when you shouldn't be a member, then people will, will always try and find a way in. So it protects revenue that way. And there's also a really good news story for the environment. Mm -hmm. So cars, no more bands, um, and those kind of things. So yeah. um, there's lots more to the app, but that's a, a quick overview for you. Absolutely. That's really useful. And thank you for mentioning that thing around the environment, because, of course, our, our goal for the event is actually to be net carbon zero for the event. So anything that we can contribute to that is is we're going to take all of those opportunities. So it'll be really interesting to see how we can share that, Jonathan. Thank you. So talk to me about why ActiveNet. Why have you decided that we're the event you want to attend? Well, we absolutely love going to ActiveNet. Um, it's something that we we've done for a number of years and it's just really obviously meeting our customers more than anything so meeting our customers there'll be some prospects no doubt mm -hmm. uh, but mainly customers and then just being being with the industry it's so exciting to be back i know when i came to nottingham last year mm -hmm. well sorry this year sorry in uh, right. uh yeah. earlier this year in march um it's just great it was the first uh, event i'd been to for a few years um so before the pandemic and it was just great just getting there the buzz in the room speaking to other suppliers you'll always pick something up from another supplier um an industry trend finding out you know what people are thinking in the industry and it's important that our product reflects what people are looking for so understanding what's going on in the industry listen to the industry experts up on stage the stats that are being shared mm -hmm. is is just a great experience Brilliant. Well, thank you. And that's really nice feedback, Jonathan. You've always been really good at giving your feedback. So that, that's fab. So um, let's say I, I'm an operator. I'm one of our buyer delegates uh, and we've scheduled a meeting together. What sort of things are you going to talk about? What what am I going to go away with? OK, well, um, we'll have obviously slightly different uh, conversations, depending if you're a prospect or a customer. But, um, you know, somebody that, that's a prospect, it would be great to see what other customers are doing. So. You know, we've got 475 uh, customers, 475 different apps. So you can imagine how many apps I've got on my phone. So I can show any example to a prospective customer of, of what um, their business could be doing on the app. And everybody expects, you know, apps are being used every day by everybody. So every every business really wants to conduct all their, their business on the app. So it's actually showing customers how that could look like or prospects how that could look like. And with customers, we were just talking about, you know, how can they maximize the product they already have? So what can they do? So we talked about access control earlier. If they don't use access control, how could that work with them? How could that actually roll it out? Could they do a phased approach to a pilot? Can they do a big bang? What's the best thing for them? How can they actually get people to register attendance mm. potentially mm. on an outside pitch? So we can do stuff where you're not, you don't need cables. You can do it because the phone becomes a scanner. If you need people to check in on a tennis court, a pitch, you know, all this uh, participation figures that you're not normally getting. So it's really just working out where the customer is um, and how can they um, maximize uh, what they're currently using. Okay. So effectively your customers are the leisure centers, the operators yep. that are providing these services. They, their end customers, the consumer, people like me who go and play squash, et cetera. Yeah. What's the biggest benefit for me then as that squash player? If if the operator I use is using your white label app, it's making it look like it's theirs, which is brilliant. But but what's in it for me as the consumer, the guy who's playing squash? 
Uh, well, you'll be able to make bookings really quickly. Right. Um, so there'll be there won't be a, a quick way. So when the alarm goes off at, at seven a.m. and the uh, the booking window opens, mm. you know you don't have to go in and log log in, try and remember your password, then right. try and navigate your way around. It might not be fully customizable to be in a mobile. Yeah. Um, so straight on the phone, probably Face ID nowadays. Straight in. Um, every, all the details are stored, single sign-on, so you don't need to log in or anything. Yeah. Find the session I want uh, and book it quickly um, and easily. And, w- and we've actually seen a huge growth in our what, what we actually measure as our monthly active users right. um, on our platform. So before the pandemic, it was around about uh, 500,000 monthly right. active users. So people act, individual people actively using our platform. It, as of today, it's 2.4 million. Wow. So you can see the growth, and it's mm-hmm. very sticky. So once you start, you know, once you make those bookings, People, people stay, they come back. Um, and and um, yeah, so time really, more than anything, if you're that's a consumer, it. it's going to save you. There's time. a whole load of operators watching this now going, oh, I wonder where that squash court is because I really wish there was a booking queue for squash courts like there used to be in the 1980s. Um, <laughs> I have to say I can get a court whenever I want it at the moment where I play, but that's by the by. Okay, Jonathan, that is really useful insight. Thank you so much for this. Um, we'll, we'll obviously put a link to you in the post so that people can uh, find out who you are and where you are. But we look forward to seeing you in March in um, Eastwood Hall at Nottingham. Thank you so much for your time. Take care. Thanks, Dave. Bye. Bye. Bye Bye-bye.